here's another idea. Let's see if I can frame it more succinctly. See, just with this fingering, where it's um, whatever it is, because you're going this note here is going from the little finger to the first finger, so that can give it a tendency to be a bit jittery, as opposed to like this one here. Get transition from the first and second finger is always pretty much smooth and easy. Or if you had a particularly high action machine or something that was just quite too much pressing down, it's quite easy to put the little finger on that one, not quite right, and that kind of screws it. Like the rhythm is quite different, it can never be the same as. Well, maybe it can be, but. I always feel there's like more pause in that. Even though it's not much movement in it. So I had the other two, the other two little things I was... So yeah, there's a string on that one that you can't play open, so... 
to be honest, that was all into those things we used to do back in um, Fletcher. Let's get that flat note on the open there. Frustrating and annoying having to go through all these processes just because that pattern that I like playing when I'm playing the pentatonic but when I'm playing the pentatonic scale that pattern shows up here so just by way of an experiment just out of curiosity So that's kind of an alternate set of um, an alternate set of black keys, as it were. But just, if I wanted to play that, I just emphasize this one more. I don't don't emphasize this one so much. Hmm. 
Oh iya. And back to the to the I should just briefly practice something where I'm just going to chase those notes up and down. Well, it's only two notes. tired of thinking about it quite quickly. So let's just try transposing that let's just try transposing it down here while we're having to transpose everything here down. Transposing. I'm transposing that as well to here. Oh, oops. Oh. Yeah, I always suck at transposing things because I always end up. I spend so long figuring everything out. Just from this from this beginning. From that beginning that it takes you a long time to get to forget that Whoa, 
it's so, it just feels really awkward straight away. Especially on a, on a machine with the strings so close together, because um, it's different at different points, like for how you have to hold your hand in order to not have the um, this, you know, for them to be all open and not like slightly touching each other like they were the first time. So you end up getting. transpose it, that's no longer augmented, I'm so used to that one being an aug augmented. I guess that must be it. interesting. So when I transpose that to here, oh, whoops. <laughs> you see I can't even
It doesn't really transfer straight away naturally. I have to really practice with it just in the place that it makes me feel. the original one it was interesting so so you can transpose the whole thing and put the vocal line on precisely exactly the same pitch well that's one one little thing to do it was good to, to do to do one of each you know all right i'm gonna sign off now uh, don't forget to have a look at this sometime when you want to remember what you're up to i'm talking to myself by the way so future me right